Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slackers Undercover video. I'm bringing you a brand new game called Garrison Archangel. It is a mech fighting game, so I am much looking forward to this because it reminds me a lot of Armor Core. So if any of y'all saw my joys of robo building, uh, you saw me build the Armor Core one. So if y'all haven't played that game, it's a classic, you need to go back and play it, it's awesome. But yeah, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, smash that like button, help us share the content, help us expand the Slackers universe. Alrighty guys, let's get into this game. First off, I want to get in, I just want to go through the tutorial with y'all, just to give y'all a rundown on how the controls work. Keep in mind, I am using an Xbox controller, so this game has full controller support, which I love, and it also has all the normal PC controls, so... There we go, you know, let's move forward, back, left, and the guy moves so slow because it's a heavy mech, so. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I overloaded myself, don't do that, they have the overboost thing like Armor Core did, so. Which I love. And then you can also lock and unlock. So I'm assuming that they're going to have it to where there's going to be co-op eventually where you can do like duos and stuff like that because why else would they have an unlock lock feature? But, alright, let's get on to the fighting moves. Nope, gotta wait for him to get up. Come on, let's sleep it on the job. There we go. And as you can see all the shooting controls, you can see your ammo amounts. Some guns have only a certain amount of uh, reloads, so you gotta keep keep an eye on that. There we go. Alright, shoulder weapon. And if you notice in the screen it's showing like which button to push, that's showing me on the Xbox which button to push as well. So, you, you kind of know the controls that way. Oh, I forgot. It wants me to terminate him now. You have been terminated. <laughs> there we go. And tutorial done. Alright, I've already tinkered with this game for a bit, so let's go into the garage and show you what I've got. These first three are mechs that the game gave you. So the Striker, I just changed the... Did I change the paint job on this one a little bit? I think I did. I know I did on Pursuit here. I also changed their names because I didn't like the long names that they had. I also changed the name of this one because it reminds me of a GM from uh, the first Gundam series. <laughs> So any of y'all who are Gundam fans, you know, that's why I kind of named this one Gundam, or GM3 Heavy Assault, because it's pretty much what he is. And then, from one of my more favorite Gundam series, Dynamis from uh, Gundam 00, I went ahead and tried to make him as accurate as possible. I'm still thinking the shoulder boosters I'm going to trade out for missile launchers, just because he doesn't have any of his missile launchers. Unfortunately, they don't have pistols in this game, so I use the submachine gun, and then I've got the rail gun on the back for like a sniper rifle. And we got heavy arms here. Yeah, from Gundam Wing. Uh, unfortunately, you know, couldn't get him super close, got his color scheme kind of correct. He is very armored, he's got his weapons that he normally has, with the exception of the shotgun. I figured, since we can't get a Gatling gun arm, which... I hope they add a Gatling gun for the hands, because that would be awesome. Because then I can make him more accurate. And then, they didn't have a knife, so I did the spike to kind of show, uh, have his little knife that he has on his uh, right arm. And then, we have an extra mech here that we created. We will go ahead and build a mech in a second here, but right now we're going to go into the arcade mode. And... <coughs> 
<coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, give you a little t showdown of what's going on. Go ahead and just pick our GM for now. So I kind of warmed up with him. Just pick casual for now. Just to give y'all kind of an idea of the combat. It's not going to be as slow paced as what you saw in the tutorial, so. This mech is heavy, but I know how to use him to make him look quick, so. Oh yeah. I was expecting it to load. I keep forgetting this game lets you choose when you load in. Ready. I didn't want to taunt him. Oh, I overboosted. Oh. oh god, he is really hurting. I need to put my shield up. with the missiles. Oh, no. Didn't quite. Ooh. Got him. Ooh, he almost got me. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. I didn't uh, warm up like I did the other day when I was playing this game. I was literally playing it for like eight hours. I couldn't stop playing it. There we go. There we go, now I'm getting back in the groove of it. Ooh. Ooh. There we go, got him. <laughs> it took out half my life that time. That's a lot better. Alright, and I think there's, if I remember correctly, it's either five to six battles to go through the arcade mode. You choose your difficulty. This is a very early access game, so... There's more content to come. I'm so looking forward to this because I love the Armor Core series. And me and, me and my friends back in uh, high school, we used to spend hours just building robots and battling each other. So it was a lot of fun. All right, let's get into one more match. And I'm going to build another robot for y'all. So show, give y'all an example of that gameplay. really messing me up. Ooh. Dang! Put shooting the same gun at me. Oh my goodness. I can't even get up because he's... It's kind of dangerous to get close to this guy because he's got the sight. Yeah. 
fine. Ah, get that one last blow in. Ooh. Damn. I was trying to shield. Ooh, there we go. I was like, yeah, get far away from me. There we go, got him. <laughs> Ooh, time almost ran out. <laughs> if time does run out, it goes by whoever has more health, so. There we go. Keep in mind those uh, barrier walls, you guys. Oh, canceled me out. Boom, hit you with my shield. How you like that, huh? Ooh, God, when he starts firing that, I need to figure out what gun that is because that gun just freezes me in my tracks. That is really good knockback or something. Have a little taste of that. Gotcha. <laughs> Woo. All right. Ah, I love this game. I love mech battles. I love everything Gundam related. I love all that stuff. I've always said this too because I'm not one of those people that can like go out and like be in the military because I couldn't kill anybody because <laughs> uh, I just I don't think I could pull the trigger on somebody so that's why I've never ever considered going into the military but I would be so tempted if they came out with something like a Gundam or a mech warrior like mech assault those mechs and everything ah uh, Preferably Gundam, but, you know. Alright, let's get into building a robot. This will probably take a lot longer than everything else I've shown you. Okay. What are we going to build? Um, yeah, that's what we'll build. Okay. We will, let's see, rename. Let's build a gun cannon. In the original Gundam series. Oh, had to delete all that first. Let's see. Gun space and then cannon. There we go. Gun cannon. All right. Let's see. Equipment. Oh, you can also pick your gestures like when you're. Like, if you want to taunt someone, these are the ones you can do. Let's do fist pump on this one. Why not? And his winning pose, uh, we'll figure that out after we get the equipment on, so. Head. Let's see, what? He had a circular head, if I remember correctly. Kinda close. No. I'm also thinking about building a uh, Robotech one as well. Let's go for armor then. Let's see. What is the best armored helmet? That one actually gives us melee damage. Yeah, let's go with that one. Alright. Torso. This we need to be very specific with. 
Actually, looks really, really close right there. All right, so we'll remember that one. Hmm. No, it looks like it has a beer gut. <laughs> Not that one. That's way too skinny. Quite what we're looking for. Hmm. I think we like that one the best. If we did this one though, we would have really good. This one looks good too, but it's skinny. But melee damage, geez. Our melee would be ridiculous. I think I'm gonna go for this one just because it's got slightly more stable points and it's it's got a decent uh, melee upgrade. So okay, let's go to arms. Okay, those pretty much the pretty much as the GM arms. Those ones are like pretty much spot on. But let's try to find a different set. I don't want everything to look the same. This definitely don't look right. Those could work. That brings our melee down. That brings our melee down even more, but... And as you can see, as you go through the different arms, all the different stats, mobility, melee... We want good melee on this robot. Ooh, this one actually increases where our mobility goes down slightly. Oh, it has the little thrusters on the back. Why does the mobility go down if it has thrusters on it? That makes no sense. Where are the last ones? I think I like those arms. Yeah. It increases our melee. Okay. We will do that. Alright, the legs. I get the right legs. Those actually look correct. <laughs> actually, his legs are more curvy. This might be better suited for us. Let's see. Definitely not those legs. Nope. Does not look right. Way too skinny. No, that's more Gundam Double oh. <clears throat> Now that is close. Also increase our melee, huh? Hmm. Yeah, it matches with the arms and the chest, so mobility's really down though, darn. Well, the gun cannon was never a fast moving machine, so I'm fine with that. Alright. Left hand, let's Wait a second, did we skip? Oh yeah, we skipped the right hand. Whoops, sorry. The right hand's what we'll have the melee weapon in. Alright, let's start off with the fusion blade. Let's see, really big sword. That actually would be probably more accurate to the series, because they had like the tomahawks and stuff. 
It's a gun dagger. That's kind of cool. I think we'll go with the axe on this one. Yeah, it's got pretty much the same... Rifle spear? Let's see. Is that melee damage? I guess it is. Huh. I don't really see how. Yeah, I like the axe the best. Okay, we're gonna go with the axe. Alright, left arm. We need a gun. Should we do the gun blade? Nah. These are shotguns. Let's see. First rifle. And then we have nothing but shields. Eh, why not? Go with that. Okay. And let's see. For the shoulders, what do we want for the shoulders? More armor? Side thrusters? Should we have missiles? Can didn't really have missiles, but But not least, we need the cannons. So we're just gonna skip over everything else. We're just gonna look at the cannons. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Alright, and on this damage, I'm guessing what that means by A is the attack damage, and then the S is like the spread, and then times one. So. That's how far it can spread. Maybe it's area of effect damage. I don't know. I still haven't quite learned these. Okay, so these are lasers. And these are actual shells. I believe it used shells, so let's just stick with... Yeah, let's stick with that one. It does more damage anyway, so... Yeah. Alright. Let's... Oh, internals, sorry. Not about the internals. Uh, do you want to expand our magazine? All these decrease in my melee, geez. I think reinforced frame would be best. Gravity enhancement would increase my stability. Hmm. Let's go with armor. Reinforced frame, yeah. There we go. Done and done. All right. Back. Let's go ahead and test it out on a test dummy real quick. See how it functions. Ready, go. Yeah, it's kind of slow. I might switch those shoulders to. Oh, wow. Okay. That's 
quite a bit of damage. Okay. Oh, this turns into the scythe if you do the special. Okay. Oh yeah, if you do... If you do uh, the back move, you actually pull him in. Okay, I kind of like that we have the scythe. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Okay, this guy does quite a bit of damage. Let's let's switch to side thrusters and see what happens. See if that helps us out at all. Ah. I was like, I wanted to go to equipment on him. Uh, shoulders, yes. Let's switch those to thrusters and see how much that increases our mobility. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got some speed now. Oh, okay, so when you pull them in... It switches back to the close range mode. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I like the way this moves now. Okay, we'll keep the side thrusters on then. Give it a little bit of mobility because we need to be able to dodge some things. <laughs> we got, we could definitely take the hits, but I'd rather be able to dodge like massive attacks come out with minimal damage. Alright, let's get into the color scheme. Alright. Uh, what was the colors of the gun candy? It was just red and... Sorry. Let me look up a picture real quick here. Alright, I should have had this set up ahead of time. I wasn't quite sure what robot I was going to do. Images... Gun Cannon. There we go. Mostly red and orange. Got it. Okay. With the head being white. Yeah, let's do the. Or you know what? Let's let's do. Let's get red on there. Actually, that's really close right there. Uh, yeah, we just need to make one adjustment. Basically, the head needs to be white. All right. Uh, primary white. You can choose this slide it or you can just uh... try to see what actually changed let's see what changed all right well Actually, there is still red on there, so...
Hmm. It'd be better if I swapped that. So let's do this red, and we'll do the primary white. Okay. The primary white. There we go. That looks more correct on him. Alright. And yeah, everything else looks correct. Alright, we just need to do his weapons now. Alright, uh, let's see. Right in, yeah. In primary, we need to do gray. Let's see, come on, get over there to the gray. I think I'm okay with leaving everything else on it. Make that blade look like it's. Kind of sharp. There we go. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Left on. Er, yeah. I just want to make sure that I'm selecting the right thing. All right, primary color is going to be gray. I find going down here and selecting the color to be easier than anything else. Secondary color is also going to be that gray. And that little bit of detail I like still. Awesome. Alright. That looks good to me. Let's see. Shoulders. Oh yeah, shoulders we can make uh we can make black or gray. There we go. Yeah, I leave that little bit of color. I like it. I like it. <coughs> <coughs> okay. There's one thing I just noticed that I should change on this one. All right. Oh no 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 no. Um, the glow of that should be yellow. Wait, where's the... Is it this color, maybe? I'm on the wrong arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Uh, what color was that? Gray? Yeah, let's keep with the uh, the yellow there. Okay, yeah, I like that still. Okay, didn't mess it up. All right, we needed the left arm is what I was going for. Whoops. Okay, the blue needs to be yellow. There we go. Because that's what the lens looks like on the picture, so. Alright, and last but not least, let's get the, oh wait, sorry, rear is what we want. Should say back, but it's whatever. Alright, these need to be gray as well. Alright, secondary color, you need to be gray. Yeah, I like the little touches of the highlights of the yellow, so that looks correct. Alright. Alright, so... Let's apply. Just to make sure. 
and we're gonna go ahead and save this palette because there has been a little bit of a glitch with colors so we're gonna save it over custom four yeah there we go so that way if it messes up we can just highlight it again oh yeah that looks correct I am very happy with that uh, oh, I did see one thing. Darn. Darn. Legs. Hmm. Alright, it's gonna change everything. I wish I could just do the feet. I guess I could change that yellow. No, because that yellow will change everywhere else, too. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. All right. So we have gun cannon now. Let's go ahead and give him a test, test drive real quick and see how well he does in combat. All right. And next time I'll actually play on a harder difficulty for y'all. So show you how hard this game can be. I played up to normal and I cannot beat it on normal. At least not with the character I was. So give you a rough idea. Alright, casual. Just turn my phone off here. Alright. We got a range guy too, so. kind of easy actually because we're so strong and stable that he can't really <laughs> that was really easy jeez I like this one. Gun Cannon seems to be our... Maybe our best bot now. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> Let's do one more just to see. I gotta reload. I forgot. You have to manually reload the arm. <laughs> oh man, this is this is kind of easy. Man, maybe we could beat normal mode with this guy. I had switched modes. <laughs> he doesn't even come close to killing us. That's great. Alrighty, guys. Well... Let's go back to the title screen. We've shown what Gun Cannon can do. Jeez. <laughs> That's probably my best bot now. Um, I may switch some of these. Uh... Let me just add on. I don't. I really like Pursuit. And Striker is okay, but that GM3, that one was good. I really like the way that one came out. So, um... Dynamis is kind of hard to use. I just got to warm up because I have to dodge a lot because he has low hit points and he gets knocked down a lot. So basically, 
a lot of dodging and then looking for openings to attack. Heavy Arms is kind of like the others where I just go in there and just unload on somebody and <laughs> don't have to really worry about it too much. And y'all just saw Gun Cannon, he is awesome. So, alright, next time I'll show off some more of the other builds I've done and we'll get to some of the arcade mode. And if any of y'all get this game out there, let me know and we will definitely have some fights together because, it, like I said, early access game, there's not a lot of people there. Right, so let's check that out real quick. Let's go to multiplayer and see if there's any any uh, matches. Nope, no games found right now. See, that's exactly why I can't show you the multiplayer. They have multiplayer, but there's not a lot of people that have this game yet, so... It is $14.99 on Steam, so I'll have the link down in the description below, and you know you can check it out for yourselves. But if you love building and you love fighting with mechs, this is definitely a fun game. So, alrighty, guys. Well, this is Mad Dog signing off, and we'll see you next time, folks. Arr -arr!